Hey everyone and welcome back to my channel. I hope you're all doing well. Happy Friday. Today's video is going to be a home bargains haul. This feels like the first one that I've filmed in absolute ages. I've been doing a lot of shopping and home bargains today so I thought I would show you everything that I've got. I've got quite a good mix of things. I've got some beauty things, cleaning things, food I think. I don't even know. I can't even remember what I got. I just got a bit carried away. But let me show you what I picked up. I'll start off with the first thing, the biggest thing that I got. This is such a stupid thing to start a haul with. Toilet paper. I always get our toilet paper from Home Bargains because it's cheap and I don't know why anyone would ever spend a lot of money on toilet paper. Stupidly, I actually bought a huge big multi-pack of toilet paper and then I thought I picked up one of kitchen roll because I used that to clean. Got home and realised I actually bought 32 rolls of toilet paper so I probably looked like a bit of a weirdo at the till and now I have no kitchen roll but whatever. Okay so I'm going to just start, I'm going to pull out whatever I've got here. So I got one of the Paradise Island candles. My sister actually got me one of these to put in with my birthday present because it smells like, and if anyone remembers this smell, if anyone remembers the Yankee candle Bahama Breeze which was this colour, it's the exact same. It's Oh my god, it's so so nice and it's so strong. I've got this burning in my living room just now and it is just the nicest summer smell. I wish it wasn't blue because nothing in my house is blue and I hate when a candle's like a feature. I feel like they should be neutral colour and just blend in but for 2 99 you can't really complain. And yeah, it's a really strong scent, just as good as a Yankee candle. And these are Wickford & Co. They're the ones that I always get. I always get my candles from Home Bargains. And yeah, I'm so so happy with this. I'm going to put this one upstairs, probably in the bathroom, and it will last for ages because it's one of the big jars. Okay, so next up I got a fake tan mitt. I always get these ones. I've actually started just getting a new fake tan mitt every time I tan, which is like once a week. Because these are only 99p and I feel like they're only really good the first time you use them. But they're nice and soft. It's almost like velour material and it has like a pair of gloves under them so it doesn't soak through. And they're really really good so if you really use one one a week that's not bad. I actually do ones for like $1.99 and $2.99 as well but I don't know why you'd pay for them when they've got one for a pound. Look out for these ones, they are the cheapest ones in Home Bargains and they're the best I think. Next I picked up a wee shower exfoliator thing, what do you call these? Puff. A body puff. For the shower I got these exfoliating gloves, I used to use these ages ago but they are so so good for exfoliating before putting on fake tan. It's just so much easier to exfoliate and get all over when you're wearing one of the gloves and I think these were 69 pence or something. What I'll do um, if I'm putting on fake tan is exfoliate with something like this um, or I use like a proper scrub like the Soap and Glory Scrub of Your Life one and then I will cover myself in moisturiser and put my fake tan on straight over my moisturiser and I just feel like that works so much better and it stops it clinging to any dry patches because you've got like a layer of moisturiser underneath. Yeah, that is the best way to tan, I think. So these are an essential for me. I will move on to some cleaning stuff. I picked up some more microfiber cloths. They just go missing in my house. They're like socks. I don't know where they go. I know since they have basically the same ones but a different brand selling for like three ninety nine. And I think these were one ninety nine or less than that. So watch out for that if you're getting microfiber cloths from Home Bargains. There's a big selection of them and these are the cheapest ones. Next I picked up a supply of the floor wipes. I always get these. I don't just use them for the floor. I use them for surfaces as well and for doing things like cleaning the bathroom where you just want to throw away um, the towel that you've used or like the wipe. And they're really, really good. They're called floor wipes but I think that's because they're so big. They're antibacterial so they're just the same as what you would use on your surfaces. Don't be put off because they're called floor wipes. These are two for a pound so I got four packets and that should be a good supply for it. I don't use these all the time. I have been trying to be more environmentally friendly and use um, microfiber cloths where I can. So yeah, these are hopefully going to last quite a while. I also picked up a supply of, not really a big supply, of like the little dishwashing sponge thing because we had ran out. A beauty thing that I forgot to mention was the T-Zone pore strips. These are like an old classic. I feel like everybody used to get these when I was in school and they're still just as good. They are just the ones that you put on your nose and let it harden and then you pull it off and it's really, you peel it off and it's really sore but it pulls out all your blackheads and you can see them on the strip and it's so, so satisfying to do. Um, so I got six of these. Don't know how much they were but they're not expensive. Say like a pound or something. For Oliver, I saw these little meals. I don't often get the hip organic stuff. Um, but I has tried uh, tried one of the pastas that they have in our local shop all the time. Um, so I picked up some other ones for him to try. I got the spinach and chicken pasta bake, uh, potato and salmon 
pie, which I don't know if he's going to like that, but give it a shot. And I got him a Swiss style macaroni pasta. These are good for just having in the cupboard for um, if we've been out and we've not got we've not got anything made for him and he's starving. Really enough, this one is 18 months to 3 years rather than 12 months plus. So I wonder why. I wonder why it's not 12 months plus when the other ones are 1 to 3 years. Like, what does that other 6 months get you? I don't know, but he's 18 months anyway. Whereas I don't even know why he is now, like 21 months. Um, yeah, so I've got a little supply of these. Also randomly picked up some snap pots of Heinz beans because I went to make Oliver's lunch today and realised we had no beans in and these ones would have been so much easier. Unfortunately they didn't have the reduced sugar ones which I would try and get for him. He doesn't have beans a lot anyway so they'll be fine just for having in the cupboard. Back to cleaning stuff. Oh, what's that? Back to cleaning stuff. Um, I got a brush and brush and what did you call these? I got a dustpan and brush set because again mine has went missing i don't know what goes on in my house honestly i think i've used it outside on the decking and then maybe it's in the garage or something i don't know i just can't, couldn't find ours so i got us a new one also picked up some plasters because i realized i was failing at mum life because i had no plasters in the house got some more kids ibuprofen i was almost buying the nurofen one and realized it's just the exact same so I got the one, this one was like half price of what the Nurofen was, I think it was £1.50 or something and it's just the exact same stuff, ibuprofen and paracetamol, they're all the same stuff so if you're ever in home bargains and you're wanting to get the cheapest option. When it comes to like medicine, I think you always go for the brands that you know but for something basic like ibuprofen and paracetamol, it's all the same things that you're buying so I would always just go for the cheaper option and this one's orange flavour which he seems to love which is weird because kids normally hate medicine but he loves it and he's teething just now so he definitely needs it. I also got him some cutlery because we have lost loads of his wee spoons, I don't know how um, and he started getting a lot better with a spoon and a fork so I'm going to try and get him to get better at feeding himself pasta and stuff so I got him this little set which is from Nubi and it is a fork, a knife and a spoon and the handles look like they'd be quite good for him to hold. Also just got us a little supply of tea towels so four tea towels I think this was 2 99 and they're just really really basic ones. What can you say? Tea towels. Last but not least <laughs> This is a bit of a novelty thing. I don't know whether it's actually part of like, a baby shower thing that they have. I don't know. But it is a little thing that says mummy's tummy. Like a little measuring tape. And I thought it might be nice just for a few Instagram photos. Um, just to have the novelty for when I'm measuring my bump. Which I have already. It's ridiculous. I feel like I feel massive already. I'm only 11 weeks. I thought as the weeks go on that might be a little thing that we could do. Take photos with Oliver measuring my bump or something. I don't know. So that is everything. I really hope you've enjoyed watching this video and you like all the things that I've picked up and I might have inspired you to go to Home Bargains and get some things. If I have to recommend one thing, it would be the candle. Go and get the Paradise candle. Best thing ever. <laughs> don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe and I hope you have a really nice weekend. I will see you in my next video. Bye.